Krista and Jason, Amanda Warren appeared in front of a Walla Walla judge today to face several felony charges, including attempted murder. Now, this all started with a massive crime spree starting on July 24th. Now, she allegedly asked an elderly man if she could clean his home in Milton Freewater. He agreed, but later when Warren left, he realized she took his wallet and two guns. And fast forward to August 3rd, a similar situation. Walla Walla deputies say she went to a home in College Place and told an 88 year old man she was there to clean and while in a bedroom she called for the man. Deputies say Warren brutally attacked him. He survived but was seriously injured. About an hour later police got a call about a Prius stolen overnight. Then around noon another call this time for Berkeley and Columbia County. More guns possibly stolen and the suspect's car a white Prius. Deputies spotted the car around three o'clock and began to chase it. Warren led the high speed chase through multiple counties ending in Burbank on Highway 12. After officers finally stopped the car, Warren allegedly showed a gun and two troopers plus a Franklin County deputy shot at Warren, hitting her at least once. Now a deputy soon got her out of the car and rushed her to the hospital. She was released more than a week later and was sent straight to the Walla Walla County Jail. Now Warren appeared in court today where her bond was previously set at more than $600,000. She pleaded not guilty to all charges and expected back in court next month. Now back out here live, there's a laundry list of charges against Warren, including burglary, assault, theft, eluding police, and again, attempted murder. Now the officers who shot at Warren are placed on administrative leave right now. It's unclear how many times Warren was shot. And as far as the investigation into the officer involved shooting, a special investigative unit is still looking into that. Reporting live in Walla Walla, Caitlin Knapp, Cap KVU, Local News.